So today is 18th of April. Yeah, it's actually 17th. It was 17th, like why? It's 18th because it's um, 12 um, 30. And uh, yeah, I just finished all my stitches and I just need to make a back stitch. What I realized, I had some comments. It's so dark. I had some comments from my followers and uh, symbol D. I was stitching with this blend, but I made mistake. There are some numbers that are similar. It should be this blend. Uh, so I have to take it out and um, restitch it again. The same case, I have it here as well. The whole tree is stitched wrong. And then my horse here as well. I made mistake with this color. It should not be that light. It should be darker. So tomorrow my plan is to to restitch this mistake, two mistakes. I was lucky because uh, you see here, over here as well, it's a right color and uh, girl, she gave me notice on time, a notice <laughs> comment and um, I'll be stitching it tomorrow. Hopefully I'll manage to make back stitch Maybe tomorrow, because Daniel is by his grandma, and I have nothing to do. I have no work tomorrow. It's my day off, official. And look at Susie. Look at Susie. Susie, she's sleeping. She's tired. You tired? You tired, my baby? You tired? Okay, sleep, sleep, sleep. And you can see how much backstitch I have to make. But it will be fun. It will be fun. It will be. Susie. Oh my Susie. Oh my Susie, your belly is so big. So today is uh, Easter weekend. And um, I'm stitching a little bit. Even lots of people on um, Orthodox Easter, they don't stitch. They think it's not good for you. But what I'm doing not to stitch, I have to organize my threads. And uh, this is uh, these are leftovers from my horses. I want to put them in a separate box. So I will have box for uh, threads organized this way. And I will have just uh, organizers without extra threads. I have some... As you can see, I've stitched lots of Dimensions kit, kits and I have uh, threads like that. It's very easy to see what you have, what you don't have, if you have threads uh, really well organized. And uh, uh, let me tell you, I don't have to buy uh, black DMC or uh, black threads till end of my life. I also have some hand-dyed threads and... Uh, Sometimes, you know, I want to stitch something and I have to go to the store and buy one or two skeins. When you have lots of threads, I, like I do, you just have to uh, dig into your <laughs> boxes and see and uh, choose what you need. But lots of times I don't have that one thread. I can't find it anywhere. And I think this is a problem not just with me, but with all of us. Yeah, when I look at my organizers, I can remember which uh, dimensions kit I stitch. Like this is, it's here it's even written, Winter Memories. And I like it this way because, I don't know, I just like to remember uh, some kits of stitch. And uh, yeah, I use these uh, threads. In some kits you don't have much uh, threads and uh, you run out. And then, you know, these colors, they're... My treasures as well because uh, it's very difficult to replace with other um, threads like a DMC or Anchor or other. We have like lots of lots of here in Ukraine. Madeira, Madeira actually almost identical like uh, DMC, but still they have colors which are really different. So yes, I have 
extra boxes and I will put uh, these nice threads in a separate box. I'll show you how to look like. Also, I'm so excited to show you my oh my new baby. <laughs> I am so happy. I'm so excited. To me, it's it's the best time ever. Those days when I finish Dimensions uh, kits, it's like really I'm jumping till my ceiling. I don't do it uh, with Mirabilia, with Mirabilia separate. Um, I am, oh, not separate, opposite. I'm jumping when I start new Mirabilia, but when I finish it, I just finish because I enjoy it uh, fully during the uh, time. I'm stitching it, but I don't know how. I don't. I, I, I am enjoy, I'm enjoying also dimensions, uh, stitching dimensions. But the finish is like to me uh, the best days ever. Really, smaller or bigger projects, it, it, to me it's like the best days. I'm having my coffee with my mug from Starbucks. I brought it from <laughs> New York. <laughs> No, this one actually from Las Vegas, what I'm talking about. I bought it, um, yeah, in Vegas. I remember with my friend Lena, actually. We were in some place. I don't know what we were doing there. Yeah, but I purchased this cup because I saw mermaids. And that time I just started stitches, stitching uh, mermaids. I have very little coffee left. <laughs> now when I'm buying coffee, I... Like to drink with um, from a um, paper cup, but uh, you know, I have this fancy mug, so I change my cups. Yeah, guys, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> I have uh, experience <laughs> during my stitching life and I know lots of you hate to uh, make a backstitch and uh, you know Dimensions kids they have lots of backstitch if you will look at this part and uh, some of them I traced already with my pen and uh, there are different colors there are different thickness let's say this blue is a thin line and next to it's a thick line they all stitch with different colors and uh, different trends of thread of um, our uh, Dimensions threads <laughs> and uh, this is how I uh, having fun making backstitch also my advice for you make backstitch as you go slowly slowly and uh, you will realize after you complete your kit doesn't matter if it's dimensions or mirabilia there, yes yes there are some mirabilias with the backstitch or maybe anchor anchor uh, kits has uh, lots of uh, Lots of backstitch and they are worse than dimensions, believe me. Anyway, do it as you go and enjoy it. If you feel you need a break, take some other project, stitch something else and you will feel at one moment you really want to go back to your previous uh, kit and uh, complete it. And uh, this is how I did last night. I caught myself on thinking that uh, to me it's like... I have to, I have to, without enjoying and, you know, we have very little time to spend with our needles and threads and you have to enjoy it first of all. We don't do it for sale, we don't do it uh, for competitions, we don't do it for any other reason, just uh, it's our hobby, our pleasure, therefore enjoy every moment and when you enjoy your moment, you don't realize how fast you're stitching and uh, you will make less mistakes and uh, you will have your time complete with uh, all that joy and love to our hobby. My horse, <laughs> I have to uh, take some threads. I did uh, make an arrow and uh, instead of white here, white blue, baby blue, I have to stitch with this gray. And my horse now becoming prettier and prettier. There are some crosses here as well in her leg. I'll remove it and I will replace with the right uh, color. Also this, <laughs> yeah, this is how um, 
good my uh, subscribers are because they saw I made mistakes and uh, usually uh, there are stitches who done this kind of work before they stitch the same project and they saw one girl she saw I made mistakes here it should be the same color but another blend I accidentally pull another thread and another girl she told me I made mistake here so I'm going to my mom now and I will redo everything and I hope today I will have my finish uh, guys, I forgot to show you my uh, new whip. I, I was about to say new design. No, it's not new design. I was uh, starting this uh, kit uh, in 2018, where I was... Uh, yeah, 2018. I was uh, experiencing my starts. It was one and a half months of starts. And this kit was a birthday gift for me from my uh, dear husband. He gave me two Santas. One is stitched already, Santa Mark, and this is second Santa. Uh, name of this kit is One Christmas Eve. I have a preview if you want to see. Just a second, but it's in a plastic bag. But I, ho I hope you will be able to see it. Uh, it's beautiful design, very, very old and... Um, fabric here is original i love this design i know it will be a little bit harder to stitch on his uh, sleeve and uh, no it's not that i think I, I completed the hardest part yeah there will be some back stitch but that's fine i was thinking there will be another part of uh, this uh, beard because it was uh, a little bit uh, complicated for me to understand which symbol is which and which thread is which anyway i i have this uh, design in my cross stitch challenge and slowly slowly i want to stitch it during the year maybe i will be able to stitch it uh, before september i don't know but i want to enjoy my time with this kit and I'm looking to my other finish I just uh, completed my design from Dimensions Gold uh, it's um, frosty morning I woke up today 5 o'clock in the morning couldn't sleep I like why I torture myself let me go and stitch I made myself coffee and yeah it's like 6 o'clock in the morning I'm enjoying my time because after two hours, school starts and, oh, yeah, meetings. And then I have to go to a shop to buy some stuff for the house. Um, if it's open, because uh, yesterday was Easter. So today, mm, some shop might be closed. But anyway, let me go and enjoy my time. So guys, this is my... Uh, last uh, stage of my cross stitch work. Sorry for my husband on the background. He has conference meeting, but he can hear me. I can hear him. And uh, yeah, so how do I wash my cross stitch? I add uh, in a cold water, maybe a little bit warm room temperature maximum, a uh, little bit of soap, just regular soap without whitening, without any other additional. Uh, stuff and uh, I just leave it for five ten minutes uh, for all the mm, dust and other things going away and uh, please if you dry it dry it on a normal surface do not maybe on a towel don't put on radiators don't use uh, some steam when you iron them because sometimes your threads can run out and uh, it will damage your work and it will upset you in the future. So when uh, you iron, be sure you iron either without steam or um, be very, very careful when you do iron with steam. Sometimes it's impossible to iron without steam. I know that very well, but you have some special stuff uh, which you can spray with and uh, your your stuff will be ironed very well.
So we made dinner tonight and Paul cook uh, black pepper chicken, chicken yeah. with a salad because yeah. are you on diet or it's it just you? You have now put me on diet. I put Paul on diet. Because <laughs> <laughs> we are buying way too much chocolate. Yes, we decided to replace some food habits. So a nice spicy chili black pepper chicken mm -hmm. with a regular salad below. And then we kind of temper it out with a sweeter balsamic dressing. And if you guys want to see more of our cooking, let me know. I'll show more often in uh, my videos. But it looks delicious. Can't wait. Bon appetit. Hello, my dear friends. Today is uh, 21st of April. I want to show you my new start. This is Mirabilia limited edition kit number three. And uh, this is uh, Halloween fairy. She is very, very beautiful. I think she is one of the best of uh, this uh, collection. They, uh, there are six of them, and she's the last one. The last one I'm stitching, but she's number three. And uh, I've got her as a gift from my dear friend Elena. Uh, I was so happy when when I saw that present my other friend uh, brought from United States this uh, gift for me. And uh, I knew I will stitch this year, obviously. And you can you could see her in my plans for 2020. I didn't stitch much. I just started here at my mom's place. And uh, yeah, this is this much I've stitched so far. I thought I will stitch her today, but I uh, had to work on my Santa. Because one lady told me I probably... Uh, uh, made a mistake there, but uh, luckily I did not make any mistake. So I was busy with Santa and he got all my attention. But I'm planning to have a finish this month. I have 10 more days for this beautiful design. And usually I spend like a week or maybe less because now I have more time to stitch. Also, um, kit contain classic color works threads and there are lots of them i'm gonna show you all of them next time will I, when i will be showing you my finish because well i hope i will finish it as fast as possible because i want to have minus one whip right now i don't have minus one whip because i finished my horses and i started mirabilia but mirabilia is very tiny kid and this is threads for design. Also, fabric was inside. I saw great, great uh, linen for her. And one lady from Russia stitched her on green, uh, brown uh, linen. It was gorgeous, gorgeous. I like it very much. But because I don't have a chance now to purchase this uh, fabric and also all my previous um, Susie, what's going on? She has, she has uh, bad dream. <laughs> um, because my previous uh, kids I stitched on the same fabric, so all fairies will be on original fabric. Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. This is, this is the last uh, design I will uh, stitch. Also, there are two more fairies, but they were from magazine. They kind of look uh, the same. I mean, I like because uh, size is uh, plus minus uh, equal plus uh, the all fairies. And I don't know what I will do with them. I was planning to frame them. Now I don't know what I will do. I could have stitched a blanket full of fairies. <laughs> also, I was showing to my uh, Russian-speaking followers. I got... Uh, this is what I've got today. This is my purchase. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I use uh, these markers for my chart. I'm tracing all the symbols I've stitched. And yeah, I'm so excited to use them <laughs> because yesterday I lost one marker, a uh, yellow marker, and uh, I could not find it. It was under my uh, couch. I, I look everywhere, but the last thing I was thinking to look up under the couch and I found it. I asked all my <laughs> family to help me. And yeah, finally found it, the marker. And today I decided to get extra markers. And uh, 
what is next i have my next whip and um it's another dimensions guys sorry who doesn't like dimensions who who, who uh, tired from my dimensions kids but could not do anything but dimensions the reason is i finish my horses and i could not sleep believe me or not but this is first time in my stitching life i could not sleep because of a finish it's been more than six months since i was uh, since i started that kit and i just saw dimensions another kit in my in my head <laughs> Uh, then obviously daytime I collapsed we went to my mom she got new phone <laughs> and I, we were helping her to set up that phone and uh, I like I told Paul Paul I have to go to sleep because I just ca can't keep my eyes open obviously I, I stitch a lot in the morning uh, because it was like five o'clock in the morning I managed to stitch right here and uh, today I stitched a little bit here. Also today I did not have much time to stitch. We were busy. Then, you know, you have to do some stuff at home. And tonight I can't stitch either because um, I have to make video and I have to edit videos. But it's okay. It's okay. It's, um, <laughs> it's understandable. So this kit called One Christmas Eve. It was my start in 2018 in my months of starts and i decided to make some progress also uh, this kit is participated in my cross stitch challenge and uh, well i hope i'll finish it by september i hope i don't know why i put september in my mind maybe because another <laughs> another three four months but obviously i'll be stitching with another designs it's more fun for me now and uh, i started to realize that uh, i'm tired from dimensions not tired like i don't like it anymore but i'm tired of stitching the same same uh, symbols the same uh, routine and uh, that's why i was uh, with trying mirabilia every single time i go to my mom I don't know what to take to her. I don't want to take large whip because we spend there some time. And um, I was about to finish dimensions kit, but again, she doesn't have much space in the kitchen uh, because everyone there. And uh, I can't take half of the table just for myself because I want to put organizers and I put everything. So when I stitch this small design with my travel, uh, stand it's not that bad also uh, she doesn't have uh, too many threads and i don't have to bring my pack organizer i don't have to bring half of the house <laughs> and uh, yeah so i don't know how long i'll be stitching this design i'm telling you i was busy all with mirabilia and i was thinking to make uh, bigger progress but because I thought I made a mistake right here. I uh, I was thinking, let me see, and then I like I stitch a little bit um, around here to see if the hand is really dark because one lady told me on Instagram that uh, the picture doesn't look as dark as uh, what I'm stitching, but it definitely doesn't. But because uh, all the colors around, also because of the editing, it's, but if you will look closer. There are darker threads and I triple check, I triple check, maybe I did another mistake, I don't know, but I triple check that all the symbols are right, all the um, blends are correct and that's fine, I like it so far. Also, as you can see, face of Santa on a picture here is definitely lighter than picture here. But anyway, we have what we have. I think it's just because of the editings and the light. And uh, I, I really, I checked many times. It's all okay. Uh, so this kit has lots of back stitches usual. 
there is even couching with yellow and uh, metallic thread it will be uh, on this parts of his sleeves also this kit has lots of lots of threads uh, some of them already on my paco organizer and i like the colors i like how bright it is of course lots of red i, I remember my santa marca was teaching on uh, no i was teaching also with lots of red colors and then i, I realized that I'm, I'm tired of red I'm tired of red, but there was like a big um, Santa's uh, robe and uh, like I think over here just a part, but there was much bigger area and I can see here there is no lots of blends like in other design, but I was like, I did not even see what I'm stitching because it's red, it's red with a blend another red with red and another color of red all shapes of red and uh, it's fun for a little while and that's why i will be stitching if i will stitch this part i need to stitch this part as well so i like focus on different colors because the your rope as well has lots of blue and i don't know how i will be managing to stitch lots of blue but so far it's easy design it's not that difficult uh, again we'll see how it will go later looks like okay but i know lots of stitchers who stitch this design they spend uh, more time than on other designs but i've stitched way too many uh, dimensions uh, gold collection big designs because some gold collection they're not that big and there is no free space here like in my horses i didn't stitch little part sometimes uh, there are lots of uh, free space on a design. Uh, sometimes you don't have any free space, so it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, should I show magic? Or, yes, I'll show you magic. Ta-da! My horses. <laughs> Guys, I want to hear you clapping your hands and uh, you're happy uh, with me and uh, some of you probably happy that they will not see these horses ever again <laughs> not ever again but you will not see them in my whips i'm super excited uh, to show you them uh, just before the video i was uh, pressing uh, and um, i did not uh, dry it till like 100 percent but uh, i just want to share with you it's really late here uh, everyone is sleeping and even Susie that's why she's not in the video today but I wanted to show you this design and uh, be done and have a video for you I know I was supposed to make another video today but uh, but I'll make another video these days as well um, so I have to restitch some parts of this design because if you look back on my previous video, uh, some parts of the horse were white <laughs> and these three were was darker. So I have to frog all that part and stitch it again. And let me tell you, uh, some parts uh, like right here, I have. Uh, backstitch for the horse and I have to redo backstitch as well and yeah I did not spend lots of time but still it was one, like one stitching day for me anyway I'm glad I stitched it and I'm glad uh, I love the result and uh, this is kit number 17 in my collection I mean dimensions gold collection big not petite just uh, big uh, dimensions gold this is number 17 I have about 10 in my whips so my goal and my dream to have lots of dimensions kits which are in my stash now stitched same time I'm dreaming about all mirabilias to be done as well what else i collect in my lanarte i don't collect lanarte somehow i mean stitched pieces but i like some of them i don't like all of them it's very different i like some of them so so much 
but some of them are alike, but I will never stitch them. Whereas with Dimensions and Mirabilia, it's almost 100%. I like them all. Almost. I'm not saying like 100%, but maybe 95, 96% of all designs I would like to stitch. So I'm just, as you know, insane about uh, these designs. Also, this kit, I never thought, let me show you the preview. I never thought I will stitch. Really, I did not like them. I remember. That's why I never say I'll never stitch this design or other design from Dimensions because especially the last ones, you you think they're not that nice, but then you see people stitch them and you're like, oh, I need them as well. Oh, I'm so glad. I can't explain to you. This is such a big pleasure for me and relief that I finally finished this kit and uh, unfortunately I can't show you how it looks uh, in daytime but um, I hope you will see um, let me show you closer and uh, maybe I'll make video for my Instagram I don't know I have not decided yet I need to take a nice pictures of uh, this kit and um, it's very hard to take design uh, big to take pictures of uh, big designs. You need a uh, large table, you need lots of lights and big table you can't place next to the window uh, with um, another lights it doesn't look right. Some colors uh, it's very hard to show but um, yeah lots of back stitch but it was so easy to stitch. You even enjoy it, really. I enjoy every part of this kit. It was super easy. There was nothing difficult in this kit. Really, it's... The only thing it's difficult, it's find time and uh, have patience to complete this uh, big design. Because usually we're all working, we don't have time for this kind of designs that's why we stitch smaller ones but uh, when you finish big big whips you are extremely happy you are super like like me i could not sleep like could not sleep also i wash um, this design uh, after all stitches are done usually before uh, when I was teaching backstitch uh, at the end, I'll wash design and then I will do backstitch and then I'll do cording and coaching. But uh, you, if you stitch on uh, on frame or on hoops or on Q-snap, don't be worried and uh, just uh, make your backstitch as you go. And then you can wash it. And if you have coaching or cording, then you do it better after you wash because uh, you can you can destroy your stitches with uh, water not destroy stitches with the water but they can be uh, then loose and you have to either restitch them again or uh, fix them at the back why to do double work if you can do it after you wash your piece if you don't wash your piece and you can do it anytime but i wanted to have fresh work and uh, that's why I wash it with backstitch because uh, backstitch is fine. I uh, when I wash uh, when I was stitching in hands, I was uh, washing my uh, designs, and then I saw some backstitch was loose because you can't have perfect tension with uh, without uh, accessories, and uh, that's why uh, now I don't worry when I do backstitch as I go. So, let me show you the last part. It's uh, leftovers. This, we call it treasures. Because these threads are especially dyed for dimensions. And sometimes you will run out of threads. You will have something to replace. Or, like uh, in my case, sometimes I stitch something. And uh, you need uh, some threads and you don't have them like DMC, I can replace them with dimensions. I can use dimension threads in any other designs. I don't care if in one design you use different type of threads, it's not really visible. 
and here I put all that extra threads nicely together. They will go to one box where is all my extra threads and who knows, so maybe I will stitch another design, maybe I'll stitch some samplers with them. But I enjoy, I enjoy to uh, make those, uh, to twist my threads, to sort uh, everything. I like to, on, uh, uh, to take all the uh, threads and uh, needles from my opaco organizer, put it back. I like to see all the needles go into one needle minder and uh, leftovers I put in separate place. Guys, thank you very, very much, but uh, it's time for me to edit for your video. Everyone's sleeping today, tonight. <laughs> I'm also a little bit tired because uh, I have not slept last night a lot, but I'm happy now that I'm stitching as much as I want to and I enjoy it very, very much and I hope you too. I hope uh, cross stitch helping you um, to pass this time, as you call it, uh, stitchcation <laughs> and stitch a lot, stitch really a lot because you'll remember this time and you will ask yourself why I didn't stitch that much. I had all the time, but sometimes you have this time and you just don't want to stitch. This is the worst. This is the worst. I hate it. But I'm happy I now have my stitching bug bug. Uh, I think uh, changing um, whips, changing designers, um, making videos for you, talking to you, having Instagram, having stitching friends, it's all helped me, all together helped me to keep stitching and enjoy my hobby and inspire you same time you will inspire me <laughs> so it's all circles okay guys i'll see you in my next video bye bye